Well guys, literally not clicked a button since you were last here. Welcome back to the channel for Club 4, episode 24 of Hall of Famer here, playing Football Manager 2023. I literally have no idea what's going to be happening in this video. Are we still going to be at Watford by the end of it? Are we going to be in charge of another team? Or maybe even a national team, depending on what happens at the Euros. Guys, if you are looking forward to this video, be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you do happen to be new. Um, like I said, I literally have not clicked a button since you were last here. You will have seen the FA Cup bonuses paid out, which um, I completely forgot about, I must admit. So yeah, winning that FA Cup final actually costs us money, which is kind of strange, but... You know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, we do have future transfers lined up, of course. Um, transfer window opens in just under three weeks. So this is what we've got coming in. We've got Raul Nova coming in from Real Madrid. A right back can also play like pretty much up that right-hand side, should we need him to. So he can even play up there as a winger. It's actually not too bad there either, to be perfectly honest. He's won his first cap for Spain, which is pretty good. Enrique. Is also coming in a central defender. He won't quite be the replacement for Sole, who's obviously leaving, uh, but he'll um, he'll come in and it'll be pretty decent. And then there's uh, Maximiliano Fuentes is coming in as well, and he'll be. I mean, he's actually not too bad, is he? Long shots could do with a little bit of uh, boosting up, as could crossing. But other than that, he looks half decent, and hopefully he'll be a decent player for us as well. So um. That's what we've got coming in. Out Omar Soleil is going to Zenit St. Petersburg. He he was our probably our best defender last season and he just wants to leave because I would say it's because of a glitch in the game, because it's not something I could really control. Because I gave him what he wanted, I played him on the ball playing defender, and he still complained. So I really don't know. But you can see goal scorers wise, Avepna and Bohin and both finished on 24 goals which is pretty good you know i mean having two strikers with over two uh, over 20 goals and one of them getting two assists and one of them getting eight assists which is pretty damn good and palmer as well 16 goals and 21 assists that is pretty damn impressive and for stratton to be fair actually had a decent run towards the end of the season scoring five goals and assisting seven and you can see that trusty corner tactic working with Sole scoring 11 as well. So, um, yeah, I literally don't know what's going to be happening. We have a few players that are wanted. Uh, Kumas, Krub, uh, Collado, um, even Livakovic is wanted as well. So, um, we'll see if we can maybe get rid of these. Because, you know, Krub, um, I would probably want to keep. But Kumas, um, I don't know. Because it would sort of rip our def central defence apart wouldn't it because let's face it Harwood Bellis isn't exactly the one that's going to lead us into the promised land is he so we are going to need an upgrade at centre back certainly so we'll see left back I'm more than happy Ishmael Ferrero has been really really good for us so he'll be absolutely fine we've got Raul Nova coming in on the right of course so <laughs> our full back positions will be absolutely fine uh, central midfielders as well hey, well, let's clear this actually uh, clear entire team and we'll just go here so um, Miguel I mean maybe look to move him on uh, Lucas has obviously got room for potential uh, maybe he can go out on loan so yeah that would pretty much rip every centre back apart that we've had here you know see he wants to explore options at the end of his contract which is up in the next summer I'm just wondering if he'd maybe want to leave now It said he would said he would want to explore options at the end. I don't know, this may be someone we offer out a little like when the transfer window opens. I don't know. Vepner's also wanted, but I don't really want to sell him to be fair. He is a very good player. And it would be upwards towards a hundred million, certainly. Absolutely. You can see Nemec finally scored a goal and I mean to be fair, he only started one game. But then he did come on as 19 appearances so as a substitute. Yeah, he scored a goal, which is good. Yay. <laughs> but yeah, guys, literally, like I said, I literally don't know what's going to be happening in this video. But we can find out together. 
So uh, I'm going to go away for a little bit, advance a little bit forward, see if we have any offers come in. Oh, Scamp is falling down as well a little bit. I kind of anticipated it from him, but and Alfie Divine as well. Oh, dear. Maybe these um, like ability and potential are getting lower because we're getting better as a club. I th that could be it. But then again, Ishmael Ferreira has actually gone up as well. So, interesting. We'll see. But, yeah, we'll be back. Well, guys, just in to the season review and uh, just seeing who has won the uh, top signing or star signing. And it's Elton Arudder. And I don't think anyone is going to... I like, have any doubts about that. He was by far our best player. Um, just under £20 million, of course. Um, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Our best player at the club. Um, followed slow, slow, slowly, slowly by Bohinen um, at £7 million. Obviously, that was a loan fee. Um, I don't know if we're going to make that permanent, to be fair. But yeah, two awesome signings. So really, really happy with that. Omar Sole, to be fair, was really good as well. We have a look at the results. We finished third, exactly the same way we did last season, but so damn close to winning the league. It started off relatively well. We had a bit of a uh, patchy spell here where we lost two games back to back. We then lost at home to Man City as well, dropping points here away against Palace, away against Everton, home to Chelsea, away against Leeds, and um, home to Man United there as well. Any one of those draws becomes a win, and uh, we win the league basically. So there's that. Biggest win, home to Burnley. A match to remember, 4-0 at home to Feyenoord. And uh, goal of the season was Vepnar. Yeah, that was a cracking goal. I do remember that very, very well. Club reputation has not changed. Broadcast revenue is down. Everything else is up. Um, Vepnar uh, selling the most shirts. Palmer, Madison, Gallagher and Cross. Nice to know that Cross still has, uh, has a little bit of influence there. And this is the uh, team of the season. So, Arada, Ferrero, Kumas, Sola, Estevez, Grab, Gallaham, Nakamura, Palmer, Bohinen, Vepnar. Would not have um, changed that at all. A player of the season, Carl Palmer. Young player of the season, Elton Arada. Not going to complain with any of those. Thinking Vepnar probably would have been a, a uh, close, close candidate for young player of the season, maybe. But um, overall, definitely would have chosen a rudder myself. So there we go. Dun um, dynamic manager uh, timeline. Uh, we will check in on Scumthorpe and Sheffield Wednesday. I'm not going to bother really with Motherwell. So there we go. If we All we got to do, click finish and then go down to the championship. I'm assuming Sheffield Wednesday probably would have been relegated considering their poor start to the season. And yes, they did. They finished second bottom on 27 points. And I think they were pretty much in the relegation zone uh, since the start of the season, really. So, a bit disappointed with that. But, you know, Pearson couldn't do it again, unfortunately. But there we go. And let's see how Scunthorpe got on as well. Because I hope they didn't get relegated again. Okay, so Oxford went up in the playoffs. Scunth oh, they finished eighth. Oh, what a good season for them. Missing out in the playoffs by a few points, but still, really, really good season. Brian Lowe is still there as manager. That is good. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. I see uh, he's not made it on the favour personnel, Mr. Lowe. That's cool. We have barking dogs in the background now as well. Awesome. Uh, the summer transfer window is now officially open and we have confirmed five signings, not just the three that I originally had. I went out and signed two more as well, starting with Robert, 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 uh, Pantaman, 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 we'll go with Pantaman. Now, if you guys remember, I was in this, I was in for this guy before, uh, but now we do have him in. He joins, he's 21 years old, he can play left back and centre back, but he's probably going to be a backup to Ishmael Ferrero. We've needed that really since uh, uh, Duig left, so really happy to have him aboard. You already know about uh, Fuentes, who is not actually as good as what I thought he would be, so yeah, that's a little bit disappointing, um, but we have signed. Andreas Skeldrop from Southampton. He was relegated with them, of course, and he joins us for twenty. Uh, sorry, forty-one point five million pounds. And yeah, pretty damn happy with that. Henrique, thankfully, he does hit his potential that he's got. Four stars, potentially five. 
you know, that I, I don't really understand the white bit, to be honest. It still baffles me. But yeah, Henrique is in. And of course, Raul Nova is also in. He'll be our right back for this season. I am more than happy with that. His transfer value is out of this world as well. So that is good. That is good. Um, that kind of ruins the finances a little bit because we were looking good <laughs> because we had our sponsorship money in. We had about 60 mil in the bank and then all this money has just flew out somewhere. Yeah, it's it, it, it's weird. You know, I tend to do that, really. So, there we go. But, yeah, so that's what we've brought in, first of all. Vepnar is actually no longer wanted, so I am fine with that. Uh, Collado is not wanted either. Nemec is on loan, though. Yeah, it won't be... If we get rid of him, we won't be going out on loan, trust me. Martial is not wanted. Uh, Livakovic is still wanted, so I wonder if we'll get an offer from him a little bit later on in the day. Nothing in for Vepnar. So, I'd have thought we'd have had a few offers for Collado as well by now, but he's no longer wanted. I believe the Euro starts today as well, so um, we do have that to look forward to. If we have a look at the scout reports, scouting list I should say, then, ooh, what is this? Maybe, maybe we're going for this guy, he's 18 years old, be a backup for both fullback positions. He's actually really good physically as well. Would you be interested, my man? He would. He would be interested. But he's in, you know, he's great championship level, but, you know, I, I reckon he'd probably be alright, you know? I reckon he'd probably be okay. So this is someone I'd really like to make an offer for. So we've still got 25 million to spend, which is really nice. So how about we go 2.2? Would you take that? You would take that. Very kind. Very kind. Um, I do need to be careful, though, because I think with those signers that have come in, I think four of them will qualify as uh, under 21. Actually, Pentaman might not because he is 21. So uh, I guess we'll see with that one. Where is he? There he is. So he is 21, isn't he? I don't think... Those who are 21 do qualify. Let's just have a look. For example, if I just go for a player here, Romero. He actually looks half decent as well. I was to make an offer for him. Yeah, currently three. So Pentamon doesn't count towards that. So we're hopefully going to be signing our fourth in this player that can play right back and left back. So that's good. And I'm happy with the business so far. Schemper's gone up again in potential, which is nice. So yeah, so far so good, I would say. But I still don't know what's going to happen during this video. We could still leave. Who knows? Uh, but the Euros is open. The Euros is on now. And if we have a look, actually, because the group that England are in, I would say it's quite difficult. Because, oh, I should have just clicked on that, shouldn't I? So they're in a group with Denmark, France and Holland. So... Could be tricky if they got no if they get knocked out in the group stage, then they very well could sack Santo Esperanto Santo, and how on earth he got the job in the first place baffles me because I didn't really rate him that much of a manager anyway. His highlight was obviously when he was at Wolves, but um, yeah, I guess we'll see. Um, let's uh, start negotiations. Be a fringe player for now. It's understandable. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of that yearly wage rise, and you can have a bit more money. And maybe, nah, nah, I'm fine, I am fine, okay. Mainly for the Vetmar connection. I'm not sure if you can. Can you be a dual manager in this game? Because I'm not 100% sure you can. Because you don't see the AI do it. I'm pretty sure you can. But I'm not going to be. Say if I get offered the England or France job. I'm not going to be Watford manager as well. And of course. If we do manage a national team. There's going to be a long break before games. Oh Palace have come in. Oh. Oh really? You've only offered me that for him? We paid like what five million for him? So let's at least coop back a little bit more of that. That'll do. 
Man City have gone in for Heatley for Everton. Um, incredible player, by all accounts. It looks absolutely awesome. New Hornet signings to be confirmed. Uh, sorry, to be unveiled. I'm very pleased indeed. I think we have got some awesome youngsters in. Especially Raul Nova and uh, Pentaman. Henrique will be a good prospect as well. Fuentes, I will be looking to move on ASAP because he is not as good as what I thought he would be. Wow. Wow. I've also gone in for Salisu from Southampton because... Obviously, they got relegated, but, you know, I need a decent replacement for Sole, and I think he would be that decent replacement. So, I think that's the only in at the moment. Oh, and obviously this guy. So, that would still put me up. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay, so the... Committed spending is that. Alright, let's see what happens when they join, or if they join. Because we have a few players leaving at the end of the season as well. So, oh, so Vepner scored. I'm very, I wonder if he scored against England. Oh, Ve oh he did, but England still won. Oh. I mean, I, I kind of want to go and manage him, I'm not going to lie. So France lost. Who's in charge of them? Gates here. Okay. There could be a little bit of a merry-go-round here. I wonder. I wonder indeedy. I do wonder. Right. I think we're going to uh, go forward a little bit now. Oh! Bournemouth rejected Chelsea. Fair enough. What a legend. So I'm interested in those. Right, we're going to go ahead a little bit further. We'll see what comes up and bring you some more transfers as well, hopefully. I think some of these offers pretty much take the piss a little bit because it's not enough up front. Um, the fact that he's willing to discuss terms with Villa is a bit surprising to me. But um, this is nowhere near enough. Nowhere near. None of these interest me whatsoever so all of them are going to be rejected because he's happy to stay at the club as well so that's cool um we are now the 25th of june um i have now confirmed the signing of salisu as well um literally no transfers to display there because they all came through earlier on um mateus uh, morris and mateus bratback is in from bodo glimt i um, he's not too bad he's not as good as I thought he would be, but that's absolutely fine. We have another look here. Um, Salisu also came in for 20 million. Um, it's a decent uh, replacement for um, Sole. He's a bit, obviously a bit older and stuff, but um, that, that's fine. I mean, Vettin is wanted. Collado was wanted again, but the interest in him called. Estevez is wanted by Barcelona. Fair enough. Sole obviously leaves soon and Kumas is wanted by a few players as well. Now, I have to admit, I I don't expect that I'll be here at the start of the season. I don't know why. It's just, I just got this feeling and it's not like I've fallen out of love with the club because I still love Watford, absolutely. But it's it's just one of those things now. I've been here for about two and a half years. I am, you know, we signed off with the FA Cup win. I think it is time we probably did move on, to be honest. I'm just, it's not that, it's not that I'm getting bored or anything. I mean, I, I don't know, I might, I might be a little bit. The Napoli job is still available. Oh, okay, so hold the phone. I'm literally just checking these now. So Argentina, Holland and England, their managerial jobs are all very insecure. So it, like I just said, that very well could happen. I'm in, I would be interested in any of these jobs if they became available. So let's go forward a little bit more and we'll see what exactly does become available. If anything comes available now, playing time, code of contact, pre-season. No, they're not. They're not. They... They need to cough up a hell of a lot more money. Top half is what we're aiming for this season. So, um, yeah, I mean, 
I'd say the squad's better now than what it ever has been because the signings are Raul Nova, uh, Vepner's still here, we've still got Palmer, Ishmael Ferrero's rapidly improved. Yeah, I mean, if we are here, I mean, it's not like I would, it's not like I'd resign, but if we are here, then yeah, I'd be more than happy to be, I mean, would I be more than happy? I really don't know, to be perfectly honest. So, I'm assuming that England have been knocked out because, okay, because they're still on international duty. Right, scampers. So, if we have a look there, let's have a look at the groups. So, I think England would have gone through there. So, second round, England went out to Sweden. Okay, so I can see why. Oh, my God, Norway beat Ireland 6 uh, But then again, it's Ireland, isn't it? Anyway, it's Denmark, Croatia... Yeah, Whew. and depending on who goes out here, one of these jobs could become available as well. Could become available, of course. But I don't know if... Um... Oh, I see Scale drops scoring goals there as well. Um, he, He's not leaving. He's not leaving. We're not in the business of letting awesome players go, is what he should have said. Absolutely. Uh, right, let's check the job security again. So, England, France as well. France as well. Okay, again, that's another job I would be really interested in. If Should that become available? I think they probably will. I think all four of these jobs probably will become available. And I do intend to apply for all four of them, to be fair. I'm not, in all fairness, I don't know who I would prefer. I really don't know. And... You know, in terms of like the Hall of Famer um, part of the save, it would, if we would win something, it would really, it would give me a lot of points. So, four. Um, I just got a little bit more excited. Um, just to give you an a uh, pop date, if you uh, if you are keeping up to date with things, because uh, over the last few videos I have mentioned about Eric and his ears and stuff. Um, today's the day I'm actually taking him to the vet to uh, have it looked at again. Um, I took him months ago, and uh, they put this uh, this ointment down there. He didn't like it. But uh, we got some stuff ourselves, and we've been doing it every now and again. But it's just, whatever it is, it's just not clearing it. It's not infected or anything, uh, but, you know, it, it it doesn't... I mean, it bothers him. Some mornings it bothers him, and he really does scratch. But, um, yeah, hopefully um, the vet will uh, sort him out today, and hopefully he won't need to go back. But it could be one of those things where he needs to go back every two, three months just to have treatment for it. You know what, he's finding himself, he's still jumping about and licking me and, and everything, so... ...he could do without with, but, you know, at the end of the day, he's my boy, he's my, my little dog. Same with Frankie, you know, anything ever comes up with them two, uh, they're fine, because, you know what, I, I don't have any kids, and I probably won't, really, I'm not 100% sure on that, but... You know what? I love these dogs. Just like they are children, really. So, there we go. So, uh, Soleil has, has officially left the club now. We have a look at staff section again. Job security. Has anything become available that hasn't? So all four of these are still very insecure. The Celtic job's available as well. They finished second in the league. Behind Rain. Oh, no, they didn't. No, they did win it. So, what happened to the manager then? He left. He left Celtic to go and manage Napoli. Wow. Okay. Oh, great. Now Frankie decides it's fun to bark. I... Uh, I, I mean, it would be returning to Scotland, wouldn't it? We have to we have to keep that one in mind, I think, because we're now in the position, I think, reputation wise, to go to a huge, huge club. But is that next move Celtic? I don't think it is. I would really like to try and get an international job first, 
because the ideal situation is that we leave Watford, we go either somewhere abroad, like somewhere in Germany or Italy or Spain or France, or we get a job internationally, and then we come back to the Premier League with either Man United, Man City or Chelsea. I probably wouldn't be interested in coming back to the Premier League with The transfer business we've done, I think we've done pretty well. I think we've done pretty well in terms of that. Job security again. Again, I'm just not in, I'm not sure. I'm not sure because reputation wise, Watford are a high reputation. So for me to go to Celtic would be a little bit silly. But I'm thinking these, these managers are going to lose their jobs after the European Championship. So... I mean, when does this all, like, culminate? Uh, it probably won't be for about a couple of weeks. But if we, go in a, if we go into an international job, then, you know, fixtures don't really mean stuff, do they? Right, so Pollock has gone, finally. So, um, getting more scouts in because uh, we've had a few retire. So there's that. Oh, we've got Musiala. Cool. Musiala. Cool. Oh. Frankie's playing with his squeaky dog toy. I was on about going to the vet when I was at the vet today. Uh, going to um, get my new chew toy, but the missus wasn't exactly on board with that, but you know what, it's fine. Okay, so lone players are leaving. Uh, Kukure is going to Man City. Uh, so we're getting our new scouts in as well, so that's cool. I'm satisfied with that. I mean, we've still got the whole month of July to finalise transfers and stuff. I think transfer-wise, we could very well be done. We just maybe wait for deadline day or see if. Um, so, we've had a load of uh, contract expires. Um, I'm waiting for the. Oh, Brentford have signed Liveramento. I mean, I would have got in for him, but obviously we've got Nova. So, Frankie, stop it. So, um, wouldn't have made much sense me going in for him because Liveramento is actually a decent player in this game now. But I'm just waiting for the clubs releasing play the big clubs releasing players. So if I was to do this, I mean, I mean at 17, Jesus Christ, he's signed a new contract. So this is someone I follow personally because if I if I oh my god he he looks insane. Right, if I go to ability as this goalkeeper. I mean, to be fair, I do need a new goalkeeper because I sold um, Levikovic. So, I, yeah, but he's going to want a lot of... Jesus Christ, he's going to want a lot of money. And finances-wise, we're actually over our wage budget at the minute. So, I don't know if I'm maybe going to trim before. I don't know. I don't know. But any jobs become available yet? Nothing yet. Still those four jobs... That are very insecure. I'm assuming they're all going to be sacked after the uh, European Championship. Um, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me why they just don't sack them straight away. Because, you know, while the World Cup was on, um, the Brazil manager left. The uh, Belgium manager left. So I guess we'll see. I mean, you know, we very well could still lose Vepnar here. Um, yeah. I wonder uh, how much Bohinen's going to go for. How much could we get him for, maybe? So maybe that's the player we sp spend the last of our budget on. I mean, if Fepnot goes, then all bets are off. Absolutely. And I think down the line, Watford probably will have a few financial issues like we had. Fepnot's... Yeah, I mean, he's only potentially four stars now. Uh, this guy, I did really want to bring in as well, but... 
yeah, central midfielder looks decent, to be fair. So, still just the, a rudder there. There's you and you, I mean. Really could do with a much bigger squad, personally, but, you know, it's fine. We'll work with what we got. That's what we've done so far. That's what we'll continue to do. But I think this club's definitely going places. It's got some awesome youngsters. You know, it's got Vepnar. You've got Skeldrop, who's still only 24. You've got Ishmael Ferrero. You've got Raul Nova, and you've got a rudder. So, you know what? This club is looking good for the future for me, regardless on whether we're here or not. So, uh, there is that. But I'm just waiting for this European Championship to end, and then we'll really see if we have a chance at an international job. I would be really interested in taking up an it. And there we go. This is what I was looking for. So, Van Dijk has been released by Liverpool. That is literally the only one I'd be interested in, I think. Oh, okay. oh my god, seriously? You got £58,000 to be my under 18's assistant manager. Are you absolutely mad? Oh my god. I would say it's what you get for being at Liverpool for so long, but they don't pay that much in wages, do they? Jesus Christ. What's Van Dyke on? He must be mad. <laughs> wow. I'd like to I'd like to drink what he's on. What he's smoking. I'd like to smoke what he's smoking. Right, this guy looks half decent, doesn't he? He'd be very interested in the loan. But I wouldn't be able to do that at 17 years old, I'm afraid, dude. He looks... Oh my god, this guy looks insane. Wow. I mean, I would never pay that. Yeah, I mean, you can you can go. You go on a free transfer, man. I, I can't say I'm really bothered. So that's two years... Oh, I need, to, I need to follow that guy, don't I? Follow him and add him to my shortlist indefinitely. I forget now. Oh, yeah, you can go. I'm not really interested in keeping this guy. Uh, well... Scouting? This guy, yeah. I think this guy must have been in the next gen list. Uh, da -da -da -da, transfer. Add to shortlist indefinitely. Definitely. Oh my god, this guy looks insane. Finishing of 17. Accelerations. Oh my god, he looks awesome. He's 5'10. Headings, again, not too bad. Kept it on a 20 level. What was that Italian player? Was it at Genoa, I think? we got an Italian player? I don't think we do. Italy. Is the guy here? I can't remember. No, I can't remember. Oh, he's definitely on my, like, follow list, I think. Do you know, I'm sure it's a Genoa. Is it this guy? It's this guy. Yeah, it's this definitely this guy. Um, contract transfer at a shortlist indefinitely. There we go. So I'll personally be able to keep an eye on him. That's cool. That is cool. Oh come on! I just want to get this future like done and dusted. I want. I mean, I'm not. I'm not desperate to leave. It sounds like I'm desperate to leave, but I think I'm ready to leave. But if we're still here, then it's not like I'm going to resign, is it? So, is that so? Scouting finish from a few of these players. There's a B there, so we'll scout him fully. I think anything with a B, whether it's B minus, B plus, or anything, we um, do tend to fully scout. Because uh, you never know, there might be a, an absolute gem there. So, Kukure has gone to Man City. That's that's cool, I guess. That's cool. But I just, oh, just want to find out. If we're in with a chance for an international job. And if, like, say, like, the Germany jobs becomes available and the Bayern Munich manager leaves to manage Germany, we could be in for that job. Right, job security. Nothing again just yet. Sevilla is still available, as is Celtic. But who else? Spain has now been added to this list as well. So there could be a bit of a merry-go-round. What we're going to do, we're going to end the clip here, we're going to go a bit further forward, we're going to probably get to the end of the Euros, and we'll see just what's happening. 
Well, I didn't take much time, but these are the available jobs now. Argentina, Ecuador, not interested in Ecuador. England, France, Holland, Italy, Portugal, Spain, and Greece. Can't say I'm really interested in Greece either. But funnily enough, the Euros was won by Norway. Absolutely crazy. So I am going to apply for Argentina. I am going to apply for England. I'm going to apply for France. I'm going to apply for Italy. I'm going to apply for Portugal. And I'm going to apply for Spain. Holland, I'm going to leave for now. No one is questioning me about the five applicants I've just sent off for the international jobs. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. Um, I can't say, like I said at this, uh, earlier on in the video, that I'm interested in doing both Watford and an international job. I just think that would be too much and like the episodes would be really weird as well. So, um, oh, door opens for Parker. Hang on a minute. Okay, so I'm apparently the hot favourite for the Spain job. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. Absolutely not. Speaking of Spain, I will um, get to that in just a sec, actually. Um, he's there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Heatley. He's gone to Man City, by the way. Uh, Bujon, Mir. Dog's crying at me now as well. There's so much, so much going on around me. Uh, you, I'm not interested in. You actually look pretty. Oh my god, you actually look pretty decent as well. Um, B plus. I mean, I say you look half decent. You're a central attacking midfielder. I very rarely use central attacking midfielders. So, wow. Um, yes. What did I say? Speaking of Spain. Estevez, bid from Barcelona, 33.5, million pounds of that is being paid up front. So should I leave Watford, then um, the new manager, whoever that's going to be, um, would have some money to spend. So, um, I mean, I'm, I don't think I've ever had an interview for an international job before. A little bit surprising here that we've had an offer from Roma for Loftus-Cheek, which is actually not too bad. Considering we signed him on a free transfer, that's not a bad offer at all. Um, I'd be more than happy to sell him. So Estevez is going to be leaving. So uh, £26 million of that deal is going to be coming in, which is pretty damn nice, I must admit. So that's going to help the bank balance as well. So that's going to put us... I thought I was going to put us back in the black then, but apparently not. Oh, okay. That's probably because we've had instalments go out. That'll probably be why. Vepner and Nemec are still wanted. Uh, yeah, Nemec. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't turn down a £20 million bid. Let's just say that. Um, we are looking at, I can say, we are looking a little bit bare at the fence. So, now, I'm just sorting this out just in case kind of thing. So, Ferrero will still be my starting left back. Uh, oh, God, there's not really much... It's not really much here now, is there? Um, because obviously Bohinen's gone. We've got Palmer. He can go back on the right-hand side, should he wish. But then again, he is really good on the left as well. But of course, we've got scale drop for that. So Palmer can go back out on the right. Um, in terms of midfield, uh, Loftus-Cheek is obviously going to go. Um, Centre-backs, I mean, we've got Kuma still. I guess he could still do a job there. Um, Scamp. Possibly a defensive midfield. Uh, Gallagher is the ball winning mid. Uh, oh, sorry, the box to box midfielder. He tends to do that job fairly well. Uh, Madison, again, he could play anywhere really. Uh, Martial, um, he's going to be leaving at the end of the season anyway. So yeah, I think we definitely need to spread this money about. Should we go in for anyone with it? I mean, we've got forty-five million pounds to spend. So that is something that is pretty damn awesome. Uh, scouting centre uh, potential. That's what we've got there. He, I mean, he wouldn't be able to come in straight away, would he? Ozturk, you know, all the money would go if it was him. Let's have a look at current ability. We do need another goalkeeper. Absolutely. Um, let's see, Jimenez. Is you? Bazuna, you would be... I guess you would be a good backup, actually. 
you know what? I think we just pay that, to be fair. I think we just pay that. As then they would have two really good uh, goalkeepers. Absolutely. He, he's listed for a loan, to be fair. Oh. He's listed for a loan. I, oh. Literally, what the hell? Seriously, that is just stupid. That is actually stupid. Absolutely, ludicrously stupid. Right, players in range. Let's have a look of free transfers. So, unattached. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at, like, current ability ones here. So, there's Correa, who is, a, to be fair, half decent. He can probably come in for a little bit. As long as he doesn't want too much money. Let's offer you this. I mean, to be fair, that's not too bad. So we'll see what he's about. Is there anybody else that maybe... Maybe tickles my fancy? Pardon me. Release... Not really. Not really, I must admit. No, not really. No one else really no one else really appeals to me there, to be perfectly honest. So Bazunu offer's been accepted. He actually thinks he'll be a backup anyway, so that's good I guess. Yeah, you know what, dude, you can have that. So that's awesome. So that'll be that'll be really good. That will be really, really good. So we're gonna clear this again, I think. Only because I need like fresh reports coming through. We've got plenty of um plenty of scouts, so I don't know why there's not more coming through. I really don't know why. But if we have a look, I mean potent Can we have a potential list here, please? Potential Again, just I don't understand why there's what this is. This is so out of all of our scouted players, that's something got me wrong here. I don't know. Just has ability, but not potential. That's that's strange. I mean, there's this guy, but he's ninety-four million. Um. See, I really could do with some centre backs. There's this guy. Obviously, not a centre back. I know I'm well aware of that. I mean, he would be interested in coming in permanently, but I was more like, maybe thinking of a loan. He's interested in discussing the loan move. If I leave, I don't think Watford will win the league, or the Champions League, or the FA Cup. So we'll do that. Guess we'll do that, maybe. We'll see. You? Would you be interested in coming in on loan? No. They want the fee for him. They want the fee. Sosa offer accepted. I don't get it. He's not coming in permanently. We won't win any of their competitions. No, you know what? Bugger off. Not interested in you now. Not interested in you now at all. You don't look half bad, do you? He's... I mean, he wouldn't be a starter for... I mean, to be fair, look at those. Crossing is good. Dribbling's good. But, I mean, I guess we'll have the money for him. Let's just do that. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. So that's the Estevez money more or less spent on a goalkeeper and a new and, and another right winger. But we need, uh, we definitely need another centre-back. Harwood, Bellis, Kumas and Salisu aren't going to be enough for me. 
for this Watford team. They're going to finish top half. I'm talking in the sense that I'm not going to be here, which is at this minute what I'm assuming. So, scout and finish for him. I mean, I'd, ideally we get this guy on loan, but I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. Right, let me go to my is it director of... Where do you go for director of football? Shortlist? No. Overview. Scouting center. Players? I don't know. I always... I, for some reason, I never. I can never find it. Never ever find this. Director of football like recommendations. Transfers, isn't it? Director here it is. Right, transfer targets. Centre back. Garcia. Aston Villa. Who's bidding for him? Liverpool are in for him. Okay. There's this guy. Who, again. I mean, he's 6'4", to be fair. It's not bad. We, what, have you got any free transfer recommendations? No. What about defensive midfield? What about central midfield? What about strikers? You don't have much, do you? You don't have much, Ruvan Stroda. Doesn't have much. Does not have much. Right, so we hit that. Now, um, let's go to staff again. Let's go to job security. Not security. I mean centre. So I've applied for all those. There's those. Job centre. Leading candidate. It says NA. Okay, that's... That's odd. That's odd. I don't, I don't really understand that. But it, it, it's cool, I guess. Right, um... I'm not sure how long it's going to be before we hear anything about any of these jobs. So, um, let's end the clip here and we'll be back. <laughs> right, um, I wasn't expecting all five to approach me. Um, then again, I can't see Argentina anywhere. So, there, there is no interview process. They have literally just offered me the job. So, <laughs> I mean, what do I do and where do I go? Now, instinctively, we would normally go for the most amount of money, which it's literally a cross between Spain and England. I think... Well, obviously we're going to reject Portugal. And we'll reject Italy. We'll definitely reject France, because that offer is just pathetic. And we'll reject Italy. So it's just between England and Spain. You know what? I can see me managing England in the future, but not now. So we go to Spain. So I am now the new Spain manager, which means I um which means I resign as Watford manager. I don't want to be doing dual. I don't I don't want to be doing a dual job. So yeah. I'm going to be resigning as Watford manager. And I'm just going to be the manager of Spain. Bye-bye, Watford. And I'm really surprised that I've not been called into the office. There we go. So bye-bye, Watford. Hello, Spain. No, I'm not going to not follow Watford, am I? Be interested to see who gets the job there. We're in the favour personnel, which is nice. Cool. So, bye-bye Watford. Hello, Spain. I wasn't expecting all five... I wasn't expecting five nations to come in for me. And there we go. So, uh, there we go. We're the manager of Spain. And this is the squad we're working with. I think we'll be all right here, you know. That, that escalated quickly. That escalated very, very quickly. But guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you did go in to enjoy it, be sure to drop a like. Hit, the, hit that subscribe button if you happen to be new and I don't burp again. Thanks again for watching. We've got our Spanish adventure starting.
maybe tomorrow, depending on what day it is. You know, I'm running this Monday to Friday still, and it is still 2022 as I'm recording this, so, uh, yeah, man's, uh, man's on a mission. Thanks again for watching. See you again soon. Like, share, and subscribe. Ciao.